Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new Clearly Besotted Stamps release to share with you. All of these items will be available to purchase this evening at 10pm at British Summer Time from the Clearly Besotted shop, from Simon's Stamp and also from Ellen Hudson. So as I usually do, I thought I would share with you the stamps and dies and also the cards that I made using those sets as well. So first off, this is the Keep In Touch set. Really, really great set, obviously, for keeping in touch with people. Um, so you've got the um, little telephone, you've got the camera, and you've got the typewriter here as well. You've got some lovely sentiments that you can add into the paper of the typewriter. So you've got, take care, I miss you, I love you, hello, and snail mail. And then you've got these really cute little um, banner kind of sentiments as well. So you've got, smile, call me, just my type, and keep in touch. There is a die set that you can purchase separately that coordinates with this set. I don't have it to share with you, um, but there is one available. So the card that I made using that set is this one here. Kept it really simple, just um, stamped the typewriter and then added in the hello onto the paper. Coloured it in with Copic markers, added a little bit of glossy accents to the keys there. Um, I just thought it would make a cute little um, card to keep in touch with someone. Next up is the Best Dad set. This is one of the smaller sets. You've got the wave here, you've got the um, kind of bulk of the boat, and then you've got the sails that you can add on on top. So you've got a solid image and an outline image, and then you've got a little flag there at the top which you can add on. So you've got um, the sentiments are Best Dad or Number One Dad. Obviously you can mix and match however you wanted to. I love you and happy Father's Day. And there is a die that you can purchase separately that coordinates with the um, boat as well. So this is the card that I made using that set. Again, kept it really, really simple. I used the wave die, which has already been released, which is really, really nice. And um, I added that, cut that twice, um, popped the boat in um, behind with a little bit of foam tape. And for this one, I usually... Um, I usually stamp and then die cut but for this one I did it the opposite way just so that I could make sure that because the elements are separate that I stamped them all um, kind of where they should be and then I stamped the um, sentiment there at the top as well. Next up is the Accented Stamp Set. Um, I don't have any samples to share with you unfortunately, I just didn't get a chance to use it. Um, but it's really really pretty, obviously you can use it to accent um, other kind of cards and things that you've used or tags or anything like that. Um, but obviously you could use it on its own as well. So you've got all of these um, kind of little elements that you can mix and match between each other. And you've got some lovely sentiments as well. You've got take care, um, wishing you all the best, goodbye, good luck and I believe in you. And there is a, uh, a die set that you can purchase separately that coordinates with that as well. Um, but the, here are just some examples um, of how you can actually use it. Um, but obviously, like I said, you can use it um, any which way and kind of diff mix and match them all together. But that's just some examples there for you. Next up is the A Little Something set. Um, really, really cute little set. You've got the two vases here. You've got a solid image and an outline. And then you've got the flower stems. You've got the flower heads, which are um, polka dotted and a solid. Got a little bow there or some kind of like um, raffia that you could kind of wrap around the, um, the flowers or the vase. And you've got some lovely sentiments here. You've got thanks a bunch, a little something for someone special and love you. And again, there is a die set that you can purchase separately that coordinates with those. So this is the card that I made using that set. Again, very, very simple. I just made a little 4x4 card and um, I stamped the flowers and the stem out. Um, I cut them out and then added a couple of little sprinkles on the top and then the sentiment to the side. Next up is the Life and Laughter set. Um, again, really, really lovely set. It kind of reminds me of Zentangle. Um, I really like how these, these kind of flowers are. So you've got the flower heads and then you've got the stem and the leaves that you can stamp out separately or obviously you can use the flowers just on their own. Some really, really beautiful sentiments um, to match as well. You've got, um, it is never too late um, to be what you might have been. Follow your dreams, love, inspire, create. Laughter is the best medicine and um, be happy for this moment. This moment is your life and really, really nice. And again, there is a dice that you can purchase separately that coordinates with the flowers. So this is the card that I made using that set. Um, like I kind of said, I went with the kind of Zentangle um, way and just kind of did a very dark black outline and I actually embossed that with some clear embossing powder just to make it um, kind of shiny and embossed. Coloured it in with some Copic markers, just did some very um, kind of plain colouring. Added a couple of sprinkles and this sentiment here has also been embossed and that's from the new um, 
sugar and spice set which I'll just share with you um, with you next but this is a four and a half by four and a half card um, I just thought it was very kind of plain and graphic but um, really nice just to send a little thank you to someone so this is the um, sugar and spice set and you've got these really big um, sentiments well they're not massive but you know what I mean <laughs> bigger than the other ones you've got a sister, friend, mother, wife and daughter and these are the lovely font and um, kind of polka dotted as well and then you've got all of these sentiments that you can mix and match with them um, so you've got I'd be lost without you, happy birthday, I love you you make me proud, thank you which is the one that I used on my card um, you're beautiful, you inspire me, you, you're the best and you're amazing so obviously you can mix and match them otherwise you could use them just on their own as well and obviously you can use the the, um, the larger sentiments on their own as well and um, there is a die set that you can purchase separately that matches the um, friend, sister, mother, wife and daughter and um, that is available to purchase separately I don't have it to share with you but um, um, really really nice that you can kind of um, cut out the words as well and then last but not least is the Simply Scrumptious set. I think this would definitely be a big, big hit. I actually, I really love all of them, um, but I think this one, um, I for some reason I really like the strawberries. So um, you've got a wreath here which um, you can add strawberries onto, but you could also add on flowers as well. And you've got a tiny little strawberry um, with the coordinating strawberry stalk. And then you've got these um, larger strawberries here. So you've got an outline image and then you've got a polka dot. You've got a um, kind of like a pattern on a solid and then you've got a solid and then you've got the um, stalk that you can add on to these ones as well. And then you've got a couple of um, just dots, which is quite nice. They're quite nice to accent um, different, you know, sets. And then you've got You Are Simply Scrumptious. You're so sweet and thank you very much, which is always a nice one. And then you've got the, like I said, these little flowers which you can um, add on to the wreath or you could add on to this kind of pattern here, which is really, really nice with the leaves as well. And then you've got some kind of like swirly things, which again, quite nice just to accent. And again, there is a, um, a die set that you can purchase separately that coordinates. You've got the wreath, you've got the flowers and then you've got the strawberries there as well. This is the card that I made using that set. Um, I really enjoyed making this card in particular actually. Um, so I stamped out the wreath and then I stamped out the strawberries separately. So I used the small solid one and then the polka dotted one. Cut them both out with the coordinating dies and then added on the sentiment, thank you very much, a couple of um, sprinkles and then it's a bit difficult probably to see on camera but I added some um, Wink of Stella onto the strawberries as well and um, just give it a little kind of extra sparkle. So that's that card and then that is the release um, for this month from Clearly Bazotted. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on um, what you think you might be wanting to buy or um, if you want to buy all of them or what your favourites are. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.